Christina and today I'm going to be showing you guys a haul. So all this stuff I've accumulated for about a couple weeks, maybe two, three weeks. Oh, and Happy New Year guys! It's finally 2016 and I know this year will be a great year for the Tina Show. So many fun videos and this is the first video of 2016. There's going to be so much more fun videos to come and I just can't wait. So if you want to see what I got, then just keep watching. Start off with little bits and bobs. The first couple of things I got are these three candles. They just look like this. They're super, super sparkly. They're just silver candles and they're remote control automated. There's a little remote, remote what? <laughs> remote control and just some settings, but I have to get batteries for them, so I can't actually light them up for you, which is very sad. But they're really, really pretty, and very glittery too. But they don't fit the theme of my new room, because I'm going to be redecorating some of my room. It's a white and gold theme, and they're silver, but I'm still going to keep them. We can make one exception. The next two things that I got are the Girl Online books by Zoe Sugg or Zoella. She's such an awesome beauty vlogger. Should I say vlogger? YouTube star, there we go. Um, this first one is just called Girl Online. Then the second book, which was released maybe this November, somewhere around there. This is Girl Online on tour. And um, I feel like if you're a girl, this really relates to you. Zoe actually said that she wanted this book to kind of relate to young girls, and it really did. And it's a really good book. I'm not finished with it, but it's a super, super good book. So the next thing, which I think is actually one of the last bits and bobs that I have, is I've had this for quite a long time. It's just a cute emoji. Hello, this is the Tears of Joy. This is probably the most used emoji I have, and it's like my favorite emoji, and I love it, love it so much. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all the bits and bobs I got. Yes. yes, so now I can move on to all the makeup and stuff. Start with Ulta. And the first thing that I got is probably the thing that I was most excited about because I've been wanting this palette for a long time. It's been out for maybe a month or so, so I'm kind of behind. But it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self-Made Eyeshadow Palette. And this is $35. And I love all of Anastasia's palettes. You know me, I have my... Where is it? I don't know where it is, but I have my Anastasia Artist Palette, which is my favorite, favorite palette. So I decided to get another one of hers, and it is gorgeous. I mean, look at all these shades. Um, my top three favorite shades, not two, um, is Isla, Isla, I don't know, know how to pronounce that, but it's a gorgeous teal shimmering blue. Then you also have Hot Chocolate, which is a matte brown color. It's like a hot chocolate color. And also Buttery, which is just a nice buttery color. Um, they had it in the Ars palette, and I hit pan on it. And I don't know if they have it in the little eyeshadow pans that are the circular ones. But when I saw they had Buttery, I was like, thank you. <laughs> the next thing that I got was a lip liner because I have one other lip liner and... Shut up, birds. I don't know if you can hear that, but my birds are cry cry. But this is the Essence Lip Liner in Soft Berry. A while back, I heard Casey Holmes talk about it, and I decided I'll try it out because I don't have a lip liner that's a really nice berry color. I'll do swatches up close of everything. And if you want to see a review on any particular product or a makeup tutorial or something like that with a product, just thumbs up this video and say what product you want in the comment section so I know what to do for you guys because I love hearing you guys' comments. But yeah, this is a really, really pretty color and I love it. Next, I got another NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. These are my favorite, favorite NYX lip products ever. I got this in the shade, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, okay, just one, Abu Daha, no, no, I'm not even going to try, um, but I'll leave the names down below because I'm 
I can't pronounce that name, so sorry guys. But it's this beautiful, really light mauve shade. It's almost like my lips, but a better shade. Like I tried it on my lips one time, and it's just a little bit darker than my natural lip color, which I thought for every day, it's just super simple and super duper cute. The last thing that I got was also from Ulta. It's, duh, it's oh, from Ulta. It's also another lip gloss, or lip thing. It's a lip gloss palette, which I thought was super duper cute. They just have all different shades from like really nude to really dark and vampy. My two top favorites are this one here, which is just a really, really light gloss, which you can just throw on top of anything. And also this one, which is like a dark berry mauve right here. It's super duper pretty. And these are actually really pigmented. So I was really happy with that. They're really, really pretty shades. And that's all I got from Ulta. So the next place that I went to was, of course, Sephora. And I only got one thing because, I mean, it's just so overwhelming. And there wasn't really a makeup product that I needed. I mean, there were so many pretty things that I wanted, but I just didn't need it. And I decided, you know, I'm just going to splurge on another beauty blender. These things are so good. I have another one. But it has been through rough times. It has big old rip in it holes it's dirty and I need to clean this so I decided why not get a new one but I mean look at the difference and if you're wondering why it's small if you don't know what a beauty blender is it's a sponge and when you soak it up in water it expands so it's a nice big sponge but this thing isn't even soaked in water and it's still kind of big but these are my favorite sponges I use them for blending concealer foundation powder for baking under my eyes or just setting under my eyes this is best thing ever if you don't have a beauty blender get it and if you don't want to splurge on a $20 sponge yes these are $20 you can of course opt for a real technique sponge I heard they're great but I found these other two sponges like they're way too hard and no and they smell really weird but that's all I got from Ulta Ulta Sephora, I think these are $20, right? Yeah, so the beauty blender was $20, and I just desperately needed one. Last place I went to, no, actually, I lied. Second to last place I went to was MAC. I got two things from there. First thing that I got was another eyeshadow pan. This is in the shade Amber Lights. It's really, really pretty. As I said before, I'll do up-close swatches of every product. It's a eyeshadow pan refill because yes. I have this MAC palette, and I have one shade here, just one, and you can fill it up. It's a customizable palette, and I decided to get another one. So that's what the palette looks like, and you just take one, and you pop it in there. And it's super simple, but they are very challenging to get out, which is... Not a nice thing, but um, I really wanted like a gold coppery tone, and this one was just super duper pretty, and I really liked it. And those are ten dollars, I believe. Oh, I'll check. I can't find the receipt. Um, I also got a lipstick. I have two lipsticks from Mac, and I absolutely love them. They are both cream sheen finishes, and I decided to get a satin one. This is in the shade Viva Glam 2, which is a really, really pretty color. I really just wanted a nude because I don't have a plain nude. You know, I have like mauve nudes and pink nudes, but I don't just have a nude. So I decided to get one. And since this is a Viva Glam lipstick, it has red, how should I say this? Red packaging instead of the standard whitish silver. And it's how beautiful. Whenever I get a new lipstick, especially from like high end, I'm just like, I can't use this. It's so perfect. I don't want to ruin the point. But my lipstick's too smell good. I feel like it's weird, but I know I'm not the only one who smells lipstick, right? 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 But it smells really cool. It's like cupcakes. Like cake batter. That's what it smells like. And yeah, I'm really happy that I got in my new shade because 
Now I am a proud owner of a nude MAC lipstick. And I found the receipts. Okay, so I can tell you how much everything is. The Viva Glam Satin Lipstick was $17, and the Pro Palette Small Pan Refill was $10. Last thing that I got is not, in fact, from MAC, but I decided to get it. This is actually a gift from my dad. This is the Nexus 3 piece trial set. <coughs> Excuse me. It has a replenishing system with comb through finishing mist. So you get shampoo, conditioner, and some replenishing mist, which I thought was really nice. Hey guys, it's future Christina. Sorry to interrupt this video, but I just wanted to say that all of the products that I mentioned in this haul will be swatched at the very end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But yeah, now back to the video. Mwah. That is everything I got for this haul today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. There will be many more hauls of 2016 because it's the new year, fresh new start, and yeah. If you want to see more hauls, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below which product was your favorite, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!